Trent Bradshaw with Bradshaw Financial Planning and Mind Your Money. Thank you for joining us for this market update. Today is July 31st, 2020. Uh, before we jump into the agenda, don't forget to join us on social media. Also, uh, if you got any questions or concerns, give us a call, shoot us an email. We'll be glad to answer those. Uh, but first thing we want to do is uh, take a look at corporate earnings. Uh, after corporate earnings, we're going to fold in and take a look at jobless claims. That'll include initial claims plus continuing claims. And then also we'll finish with stimulus and also talk about the Federal Reserve and what they're planning on doing uh, going into the third quarter and also fourth quarter. All right, first chart we want to look at, we're going to bring up corporate earnings. Let's take a look at the S&P 500. So far, 287 companies out of the 500 have reported. Uh, what we're seeing right now is a decline of roughly negative 10 to negative 11 percent year over year. Obviously, the market uh, is, is under some uh, strain when we're talking about second quarter earnings because of the shutdown. Uh, we do think that will improve going into the third and fourth quarter of this year. Uh, but one of the highlights is information technology, if you'll look at it. Basically, uh, earnings are flat year over year, and that's pretty amazing considering what we just went through. Um, it's, it's being driven by the top five stocks that are within that index. Those stocks obviously are going to be Apple, Amazon, Facebook, Microsoft, and also Alphabet, which formerly was Google. But when you look at those five stocks, and I've mentioned this before on previous videos, they make up somewhere in the neighborhood of about 30% of the overall S&P 500 index. Uh, so if those five companies are doing well year over year, which all five of them are, uh, the market seems to be holding its head above water uh, because of their earnings. Again, if their earnings start to falter, if, if their overall revenue growth starts to falter, then I do think the market's going to be under some severe uh, distress. But right now, everything looks good. Uh, they're doing very, very well. Uh, so technology definitely leading the market at this point. Let's jump over and look at the uh, jobless claims. If you look at the initial jobless claims that were reported yesterday, we had another 1.4 million uh, that came in and, and claimed unemployment. Uh, that is um, leveling off compared to where we were back in the March and April time frame but still well over a million on a weekly basis. Uh, if you look at the cumulative, we're right now at 54.13 million claims since we started the COVID-19 issue back in early March. Uh, so pretty amazing uh, how many unemployment file filers we've had in you know, just a few months. But more importantly, the continued claims, jobless claims, that we're looking at have leveled off to be around 17 million. Uh, still about 10 times what we had at the beginning of the year. So you can see that we're still, although leveling off, uh, still a pretty serious scenario right here because uh, those, those individuals that don't have jobs or have fallen off uh, the list and are no longer included right now, still a big concern. Will they be able to pay their rents? Will they be able to pay their mortgages? Uh, still waiting to see what happens there. And that kind of leads us into the next slide. Uh, let's talk about stimulus. If we talk about stimulus and where we're at as far as the Fed is concerned, we're probably finally going to get the second level of stimulus come out in regards to additional $1,200 checks uh, for single filers earning $75 or less, joint $150 or less. Uh, we, we do expect that to be approved this weekend, probably Sunday late. Uh, we'll probably hear something in regards to that. Uh, the big question is unemployment. What are we going to see? Right now, that $600 a week extra that has been uh, pumped into the system by the Federal Reserve is supposed to end today. So those unemployed individuals are going to be looking for something. Will we get the $600 again until the end of the year? There's speculation out there that that may happen. Um, who knows? We'll just have to see how that rolls out. But it's going to be very important in order to support those unemployed individuals right now. But that touches on all this debt that the feds rolled into the system regarding relief from COVID-19. It's totaling about 4.5 trillion right now. So 4.5 trillion is a big number. If you add it to the 3.8 that we were currently at anyway in regards to the Fed balance sheet, 
we're pushing about eight trillion dollars right now most likely we'll see nine to ten trillion by the end of the year how do you get that money out of the system i don't think anybody really knows right now it's a work in progress let's put it that way uh, ultimately though i do think we'll get some stimulus and uh, hopefully that will help the market going into next week and of course months to come I do not see the Fed stop stopping the printing press anytime soon before the election. So we will remain in stocks at this point. And if anything changes, we'll be back with updates. But this is Trent Bradshaw, Bradshaw Financial Planning and Mind Your Money. Uh, give us a call if you got any questions. Have a wonderful week.